my name is Kenny Miller. I'm the Chief Operating Officer at the Combat Wounded Coalition. Today we're going to be doing our Jumping for a Purpose event. This is an empowering event that is kind of uh, something that is correlates to our organization. And uh, this is something we try and do twice a year. And we're doing it in conjunction with the USO's Patriotic Festival at Virginia Beach. So we've brought in a group of warriors from all over the country, and uh, these are combat wounded warriors with all types of injuries, and we're going to be throwing them out of a perfectly good airplane today and seeing a big smile on their face when they come down to the uh, landing zone. We've got a, actually a special jumper today. Uh, Bob Gachet is a, a Purple Heart recipient from World War, World War II. Uh, he's an Iwo Jima um, uh, survivor, a U.S. Marine and uh, he's 91 and he's going to be jumping out of an airplane for the first time today. We also have uh, several other jumpers that have uh, joined us today. One is a triple amputee, uh, Tyler Southern. He is a Marine that uh, stepped on an IED in Afghanistan and uh, he has joined us today and he's actually jumped with us in the past but uh, he's in a way he's kind of one of our spokesmen for the organization. Uh, Tyler's attitude is and, and uh, just his aura is very infectious. The, the guy always has a smile on his face. He has a wonderful family, and for a, a guy that uh, sustains such horrible injuries uh, in combat, he's got an outlook on life that uh, makes you look at your life and realize that your problems are very little. My name is Corporal Tyler Southern. Uh, we're doing jumping for a purpose. Uh, we're here to skydive for no other reason than to live greatly. <laughs> Super excited about it. I would imagine that seeing people who've been through catastrophic injuries and things that you know were horrible, um, just getting past all that and doing something that is just pure adrenaline and joy has to just, one, weld you up with pride as an American watching these Americans overcome something so awful. And then just, if he can do it, I can do it, kind of, that has to go through people's minds. And, um, you know, get blown up and smile about it is kind of my life's motto. <laughs> um, but, uh, and I've always just tried to put a twinkle back in everyone else's eye. So I just, and if I gotta, and I try to gauge it off of who I'm talking to. Cause I'll do the, I'll do it, why don't you do it? But that doesn't work on everybody. <laughs> um, and the only people that are scared of God having or hate it, have never done it. The, anyone who will ever do it will tell you that they'll do it again. It's, uh, it's worse than tattoos on addictive level. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to participating in a jump with a lot of wonderful people that, who are dedicated to helping handicapped persons and I think it's a tremendous privilege for someone my age, I'm 91, to participate in a program like this that sends a message to people that are senior citizens that you don't have to crawl up in a hole and die when you reach 90. You can do things, and I'm doing that to let them know, yes, that's possible. And it's that moment that all of us have to face in life, those critical moments where you have to make a decision, and what you're confronted with is fear and, then, and uncertainty, and so many people back down in those moments. They let fear pile up, and it stops them from achieving greatness. And what I want to show these wounded warriors, if you can push through that fear, if you can overcome it, if you can live greatly and step out that door, you can do that, there's nothing else you can't do. And we've had so many wounded warriors that have come to this event and they've lived that. They've gone forward from this event, they had struggled for a bit, but when they did this, they recognized that they could do anything. <laughs>